girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well guys how are we at the end of february already like please tell me how we're at the end of it and it's a leap year guys this year every four years we're going another day in february i tell you what i want to know guys if any of you know or are born on a leap year when do you celebrate your birthday for the rest of the time because i would be like no 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 hold on i have a birthday once every four years when they try and tell me I need to get into work, I'll be like, no, 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 no. I'm enjoying my time relaxing. Would you celebrate it the day before, like the last day of February, or would you celebrate it 1st of March? That's something that's always really baffled me, guys. So um, if you have or you know someone who has been born on a leap year, what do they do with their birthday for the rest of the three years in between when the leap year comes? Let me know. That went off on straight a tangent. Guys, you know how we do these videos. We've slightly changed them just in terms of we have everything to fit in the basket now because our monthly favourites can sometimes go very, very bed covering, wasn't it? But something that won't change will be going through our monthly favourites. And also, I will be having a little recap of how we have done with our goals for the month of February. So, if you haven't seen my Hello Months, um, Hello January, Hello February, Hello March. At the beginning of every month, guys, I sit down with my diary and I do my list of goals for that month. See what I can achieve, what I can tick off. And then what I'm doing now in the monthly favourites. Because a lot of you guys said, why don't you do like a goodbye month video? And I'm like... I don't feel that there would be enough there to warrant a goodbye video, so I like to include it within my monthly favourites. So I do hope you're cosy and warm. I am back in my snoodies because snoodies are life, and it's still very cold out here, guys. It is freezing, let me tell you that. We're definitely not coming into the warmer months just yet. We are still frosty mornings. Good old uh, Great British weather. So yes, I hope you've got a little cosy drink. I hope you're wrapped up warm, and let's get in with the monthly favourites for February. Right, so my diary to hand, which we know is the absolute saviour of my life at this moment. So as I said to you in January, guys, um, this new diary has different bits and bobs. It has February goals I'm looking forward to, I'm grateful for, and this month's to-do list. So my first February goal was to still continuously upload four times a week on YouTube, which I have, and I've also had bonus uploads and double upload days. So I'm very happy that I have um, stuck to that part because, yeah, I wish I could get daily content out for you guys like I do over Christmas and Vlogmas, but my life isn't that interesting. And unfortunately, I have to work a normal job as well. If this was my sole um, income and my sole job, guys, I would be vlogging left, right, center. You would get sick of me on your screen. You'd tell me to get back to work. Trust me. My goal for February was to lose half a stone and to get in a routine of walking at lunch. So I have got into the routine of walking at lunch. I haven't weighed myself as of yet because I weigh myself on the first of every month. So maybe in my hello March, I will let you know how I got on with the weight loss. But last month I lost eight and a half pounds in January. Guys, I'm nowhere near losing that. I've been to the log cabin. I've been eating foods. We've been in London. <laughs> There's no way. I think as long as I maybe have lost two or three pounds, I'll be happy with that because I know I have overindulged, let's just say, in February. But hey-ho, everything in moderation, eh? And number three was to just try and be happy wherever I am in life. I feel when a new year comes and January's here, it's very overwhelming because we have all these goals and we have these thoughts and aspirations and dreams and la-da-da. And I see a lot of memes where people say like my new year actually doesn't start till February because January is just so chaotic and there's so much going on and everyone wants to be in the best shape and get in the best routines and start all these new practices and sometimes it's just not feasible and it's not viable for the amount of time that we actually have to ourselves. So I would like to think that I have been happy this month for where I am in my life. As I say, there's definitely room for improvement and I'm very much the first one to be self-critical and be like you could have done that better you need to do this etc etc so yeah we're plodding along for February and I say we've gained that extra day this month so everything's a bonus I'm looking forward to delving into property acknowledgement and potentially moving out this year that has been a big thing for me is to say you know guys I am looking at homes I'm starting to get into like more learning the legal side of it with like 
mortgage people and solicitors and everything like that like i'm trying to get into that understanding of knowledge you right <laughs> we've got a little spectator for today but you can sit in the chair that's okay <laughs> but the way it is is just trying to like understand terms and jargon and seeing what is out there property wise to begin with because it is a minefield i know i'm very certain that i don't want a flat i know i want a house so that's one thing that i'm set on depending upon <laughs> you're seeing right behind the camera <laughs> depending on the area um how many bedrooms i can afford what type of neighborhood like there's a lot to look into the property side as opposed to just seeing a house and being like yes i like that you have to think of commute times you have to think of ways to get into london still because say hey, we are in london quite a lot so to try and have this if you're gonna sit there and just stare behind the I'm camera watching. you're gonna put me off sorry i'm just watching <laughs> He's literally where you guys are on the silver boxes. I just see his head just over the top. But yeah, definitely trying to. And I think if you have a bit more knowledge yourself, you're kind of not going to get duck shoved. And as I say, when it comes to looking at the homes, I am very much the space. Like I have a lot of stuff. So for me, it's just the space. Whereas Dan looks at the houses with me and he will look more like structurally and like, is there mold? Is there damp? Is this secure? Like he's a lot more. What would you say? Smart? Mine's smart. No, but you actually look at, like, the house. I look at, is this room big enough to fit my Christmas tree in? Like, that might be a very stereotypical view, but that is what I look at. And I think, is it enough to put my wardrobes in? Or have I got enough space for this? Is there enough space for a filming room, a filming setup? So, like, that is where my mind is at. Because I think it's not a forever home. You guys know I only ever wanted to move once. I'm moving twice now. But when I move into the forever home, then that will be when everything will be like i like that i need this da, da 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 but for now i'm seeing it as an investment and to try and just get on the ladder while i can because things are going up things are going down it's one of them little things that either i don't do it now and i wait three five years which could i still be here another three five years absolutely not i've already outgrown this room guys i outgrew the back room i've outgrown the living room I have a lock-up unit and I'm still outgrowing like, that. So I definitely do need my own space. So I don't think it hurts to try and be a bit more knowledgeable. Another thing to do with mindset was whatever happens, happens mindset. Again, kind of being like, well, is it carpe diem? I think the saying is like, touche. It is what it is. And again, the part of that I'm looking forward to was my therapy sessions. I do actually really enjoy having my weekly therapy sessions and... I do feel every session we have, like we delve into something a little bit more or a little bit deeper in a different way. And I definitely do think it is helping me maybe realise a few things that I thought were, say, normal, that actually maybe they're not normal and there may be a response or a mechanism to... That's why therapists are therapists, as I say. I'm very much a, yeah, it is what it is. I get called numb, I get called stone cold, I get called cold high, and I'm just like, meh. Well, my therapist tells me it's not meh. That's not actually the way you're supposed to be. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm learning something. The third section was I'm grateful for. And the first one I put was to be able to look at homes in the situation we're in. Number two was the support I have around myself in life. And number three, I'm grateful just for waking up every morning. I think a lot of things happen in life that definitely do make you like re-jiggle and like re-juggle how your brain works and people sometimes don't wake up the next morning and I think you just have to take each day as it is and whether you're having a really crappy day to be honest there's always something and someone going through something else worse so kind of just count your blessings because you never know when you're going to fall on them tough times and hopefully you have the support around you to pick yourself back up now this month's to-do list guys We've not ticked everything off. I can't lie on this month. Number one was therapy sessions continued. I've done that. Number two was to complete two modules this month of my course, which I can say I have completed. So I am now on module number five. I'm halfway through my course and I'm actually looking into booking my examinations for later this year. That's the scary stuff. Because if I don't pass, it's a very high pass rate that I have to get as well to pass. And the test or examination 
I do it from home, I've got to sit in the same place for two to two and a half hours. Um, I've seen the rough layout of what the exam is. I cannot leave. I can't even leave to go to the bathroom, guys. So definitely no drinking because I know I'll get nervous and have to go to the ladies and I can't. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit daunting because halfway through, I need to start booking in exams and yeah, I don't know. Some topics I'm loving in it and some I'm just like... Like, guys, I'm not really interested in Facebook much. I don't really use Facebook, to be honest. And I need to get through certain topics before I can get into, like, the YouTube, the Instagram, the Pinterest, and all of that jazz. So, yes, that's what we're working through. But I did complete my two modules, so I'm happy. I've got on here to update my social media cards and resume, which I have done as well. I've updated them all with the latest Instagram statistics, the YouTube analytics, um, my new logos, my new banners, my contact emails for business. I've updated the social media marketing degree details on there. Like I've done that. So I've been productive. We've got a tick. Plan log cabin tricks. Tick. We had a good little time at the log cabin and we went out. To do your way in on the 1st of February, I did that. Maybe against my will, but I did that. Everything in the storage unit. That, that's a big fat cross this month, guys. <laughs> we have still got the boxes of Christmas stuff in the hall. But I think for the first week of March, that will be going to the unit. Really? And then what I need to do is get my boxes of bedding out of the unit and get the Easter box because Easter's really early this year, so I'm gonna to have to decorate maybe like around Mother's Day. Easter's, like, Easter's only two boxes. Yeah. Dan saw like the Christmas and all of that, and he saw a little bit of the Halloween, because think Halloween last year, guys, with the autumn stuff and Halloween, that was only what I'd bought last year, and Dan thought that that was a lot. There's like four boxes of it in the lockup. Christmas is the biggest. Christmas, there's like eight boxes out there. Um, Easter, there's two. Valentine's, we have one. But that's going to grow. So this is why I like, I need my space. So, <laughs> and I'm buying Easter stuff this year as well. So I'm just like utilising them spare boxes. <laughs> He'll learn, guys. He will learn. You, well, you, I say you learn. You know my things with no. seasons. Not learn, you know what I mean? Like you said the word learn. I'm like, okay. He's watched the channel for years before to see how I decorate. But I think it's different living in it. You're not just seeing it in the screen like he's coming back and there's Christmas trees everywhere. <laughs> there's tinsel everywhere. So you step out the uh, bathroom, you think you're going to get in a toilet with, uh, you think you're going to get into a fight with a bloody... Uh, <laughs> the gonk. The gonks. <laughs> there's like gonks everywhere. Attaching your leg, uh, attacking your legs. Just... And that's another thing, like, I think if I move out, I need to think of, like, where's the Christmas trees going to go? There's four. Yeah, how about we decorate first? This is what I mean. I said, even if I bought a home this year, I don't think I'd actually be in it until next year. Because I'm very... The room has got to be done before I can move my stuff in. I can't be taking stuff in, moving... You know what I'm like, guys. I get, get stressed out. Uh, we've got a tick next to the next one, which was plan content ahead efficiently. I think I've done that. Number, what was it? It was 12. I've completely lost what numbers were on, guys. But I've got balance transfer done. The looking into finance knuckling down, which I have done. I've done really good this month. I've actually managed to transfer quite a bit more than I thought I would into another account, which can help towards deposits and, you know, like with ISAs and everything. So I think I've done very good on that. I've got a big fat cross on this, but it did go in there because it was something that Dan actually mentioned. And I thought, mm, if the funds are there, I'll see. And it was to look into new phones because, as you know, I take a lot of pictures on my phone. But my phone quality on the camera isn't great. It's the SE2020. You know me, guys. My phone is literally for texting, taking pictures and that. But when I see Dan's phone taking pictures, what one's yours? Uh, I think it's like my iPhone... Is it like 13 or 14? Yeah. So obviously Dan's is quite a few years newer than mine. <laughs> and he said, well, maybe like if you had a newer phone, if I didn't have my camera on me, I can still get the same quality content. Because obviously if we're out sometimes, I'm like, oh, could you take a picture? And then 
WhatsApp it over because you've got the better quality. At least that way I, in essence, would have the camera quality on my phone. So I've got a cross next to that, but I think that will be something I might look into after the tax man's took his share. So maybe like May, June time, it could be a little bit of a birthday treat to myself, a new phone. And then the last one was to start looking into social media marketing advertisements. So within the course as well, once you qualify and everything like that, you almost have like the recruitment resources side and it kind of gives you the next steps of if you wanted to go into freelancing, if you wanted to look into working within actual companies as social media marketing um, or as I say, if you wanted to do uh, self-employment on your freelance basis and how to contact brands and people and what to look for. So yeah, I have been uh, looking into that. So I don't think February guys has been too bad. I think we've been okay and as I say, Looking through it, we've been productive. We've still been trying to get our six hours of kip a night. Still going into PTs. And you know me, the only one that I had a little few crosses against was when we was on holiday. Because I didn't really do too much. I had a few days at the beginning where I knew we had timed things. So Dan sorted out the ghost tour. So I was like, right, that goes in there. Then I knew that the rest of it was kind of just like winging it and plodding along. Well, would you look at that? We have done the monthly recap and now we actually need to get into the basket with all of our favourites we've been loving for this month. So, the first thing you're going to say to me is, you haven't finished your book this month and my goal every month is to finish my book. But, towards the end of the month after the log cabin, me and Dan was a little bit poorly. So, reading was not on the agenda. We both took our books away to the log cabin and I think what did we read maybe two chapters each if we was lucky oh, I didn't even read that. <laughs> we was either out eating or sleeping or in the hot tub and sauna so we had all intentions of having it as like a reading detox i read a few chapters when i was there i thought dan did but he just said probably didn't even do that no, I, did do a little bit. I, I remember nowhere near as much as what i'd like to one do. afternoon we that was going to try and finish the books weren't it <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so when you're ill and poorly, you, the last thing you want to do, like, I can't focus, I don't know about you guys, like, the words start to jumble in with me, and I'm like, no. But, I am on a paperback this month, this was actually one that I think I picked up last year from Waterstones in a cell, and it was underneath the dressing table, and I was going through, and I thought, you know what, Valentine's, let's try and find, like, a lovey-dovey book if you remember last year i had the it starts with us and it ends with us which isn't exactly lovey-dovey great it's kind of toxic lovey-dovey but for you know what we'll go with it so i've gone in with this one and it's called the things we never got over by lucy score and it says he's absolutely not falling for the good girl now i don't think i've done too bad i'm over halfway through and i definitely think by the weekend so probably Friday is the first. By the 3rd of March, I'll have this done. And I just hit myself. Oh, that's a hard little ball ball. I just hit myself on the ear with that. Oh, I also want to look for a um, bookmark for Dan. I do love a good bookmark. <laughs> He's shaking his head the camera. Paper. It does the same job. I know, but look, it's cute. Yeah, and also it can double up as a weapon. It did. I literally just hit my ear on it. <laughs> <laughs> so... I had my bookmark of choice this month is my Though She Be But Little, She Is Fierce. So, you know me, guys, if I go into, like, the works or Waterstones, I am a sucker for a bookmark. I mean, I have a whole pile of bookmarks there. I can't help it. And if I go out somewhere and there's a bookmark, it always ends up falling into the basket. But apparently <laughs> this is part of a trilogy. So, you guys have told me this is actually the first one because I have that tendency where I would get a book... Not realise it's part of a collection and I've probably read like the middle one. And then I'm like, great, what am I supposed to do? But this is actually the first one. So I will read you the little blurb as we always do. And as I say, it has, um, it's took a turn, guys. I can't lie, okay? It started out like a really funny, kind of cheesy love thing. And now it's turned and I'm like, okay, like you could potentially be reading Fifty Shades at some of these points, which I was not expecting for this. I was not expecting for this at all. So it says, right, here we go. Bearded bad boy Barber Knox prefers to live his life the way he takes his coffee alone. Unless you can, his basset hand, Waylon. 
Knox doesn't tolerate drama even when it comes in the form of a stranded runaway bride. Naomi wasn't just running away from her wedding, she was riding to the rescue of her estranged twin to Knockamount, Virginia, a rough around the edges town where disputes are settled the old fashioned way, with fists and beer, and usually in that order. Too bad for Naomi her evil twin hasn't changed at all. After helping herself to Naomi's car and cash, Tina leaves her with something unexpected, the niece that Naomi didn't know she had. So now she's stuck in town with no car, no job, no plan, and no home with an 11 year old going on 30 to take care of. There's a reason Knox doesn't do complications or high maintenance women, especially not the romantic ones. But since Naomi's life imploded right in front of him, the least he can do is help her out of her jam. And just as soon as she stops getting into new trouble, he can leave her alone and get back to his peaceful, solitary life. At least that's the plan until the trouble turns to real danger. And I'm feeling the way this is going, the real danger is he's falling for her. I was reading uh, it on lunch the other day and I was laughing and then I was like, oh, this is getting steamy. Like I wasn't expecting this, guys. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what the other two are about. I feel like one is a pink book and one's a purple book. If you've read the trilogy, let me know which one's next or what the names are because I actually do think... I want to continue this but I don't think I would need to read them month to month back to back because I think it would be different stories I think or it's from different perspectives but yeah I am on chapter 32 and there are how many chapters have we got 50 so I'm not too bad I'm over halfway there and as I say probably what are we 288 I probably got about 200 pages I can do that what are we today Wednesday Wednesday, if I read a couple of chapters tonight, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days, I could read 200 pages. That's 40 pages a day. I could do that. That's fine. So yes, if uh, you are on the hunt for a book that's slow, but then when it gets into it, it gets into it. Let me know. Uh, I will leave this link down below. But yeah, Lucy's score. Things we never got over. And as I say, I don't know what I'm thinking for March. I'm looking at my uh, collection. There is a autobiography that I really do want to read. And I feel that could be the next one. Because there is a set, but it's three books. You guys know The Three Sisters, Tattooist of Alt Schritz, and Silker's Journey. But that's three big ones together. Which I feel could be towards Halloween, Christmas time. Well, it's not really a Christmas thing. But you know what I mean? Like the colder months. And then I have a few others. But there is an autobiography there that is catching my eye. And I feel like that could potentially be the next one who knows right so the first thing i've actually got in here is a bit of clothing guys which i have been loving this month and that you will see in the log cabin vlogs is a stitch nighty mum picked this up from tesco florence and fred i think she said it was 16 it had 25 percent off so for 12 pound but is this gorgeous stitch patchwork nighty and you know me, especially in Primark, I love my big oversized night shirts. It's kind of like just a man shirt and I like it. So yes, you will see that in the Log Cabin vlog. I've been living in that. And also, it's cold at night, but I still like to be free. And because I still am religiously having my teddy bear bedding on, I need it to be warm. But saying that, March, I've run out of my teddy bear bedding. So I've got to go over to my new... Well, I say new one, my normal bedding. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I really don't. I think I might even just quickly wash the teddy bear fleece sheet. And then at least if I have to have a normal duvet on top, which is non-teddy bear, I've still got a teddy bear sheet. That's the vibe I'm going to go with it, guys. Because if not, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. I can't lie. As you will know, this is not done in any particular order now. This is literally just what's in the basket. So I know before I used to have like, this area, this area. We just delve into the basket and see what I've been loving. Now, I've not used it often, but when I have this month, this has been a firm favourite. As you know, I don't like washing the hair, guys. I really don't. Because as you can tell, the roots have come through. <laughs> Fabulous. But I am a lover of my dry shampoo. What can I say? And with my dry shampoo, if you are an avid user like me, you will know that it can, like, build up. So you have to really get in there and when you wash it, like, give it a scrub. This is the Tresemme Purify and Hydrate Exfoliating Scalp Scrub for Greasy Hair. Now, if you're a regular on this channel, you will know I have raved about this product for years, okay? This is my go-to. 
I've tried others, but I always gravitate back towards this and it just smells delicious. And I don't know if you can see, it's kind of just like a gel with all your little crystal beads in. And yeah, this is definitely something that is always going to be a returning favourite. I can't lie, it's never going to absolutely go away. And I was thinking um, with regards to Netflix. Guys, I checked my Netflix watch history. I've watched one thing this month, and that was when we was at the cabin. It was a one and a half hour, like, drama film. Film, drama. Kind of reminds me what you would get on ITV at, say, like, nine o'clock at night. And it's called My Son, and it's with James McAvoy, the Scottish actor man. And I don't want to say too much, but it's called My Son, so obviously it revolves a child, and there's a case. If you see it on Netflix, please do give it a little watch, because as I say, we had it on when we was having breakfast one morning, and thoroughly enjoyed it. The um, main thing we've been watching this month is YouTube. Of course you know the one and only life with James and Ben, Mr. Wraith Childs and Ben Wraith Childs. Um, we've been watching Bid meets food yes beard meets food and rate my takeaway i've also been going on like the old man versus food clips because we've been into that theme park worldwide um they have been updating on hyperia which dan is absolutely ecstatic to open at thought park this year they've also been in disney they're in florida at the moment they're doing a disney tour this year and on their other channel of the sandbrook adventures they've actually done a disney cruise so it's been very disney universal thing and basically just a lot of stuff to do with travel we was watching stuff from york because we was visiting york for the day when we was in the log cabin and yeah it's been food and travel basically guys i've been catching up on like demi donnelly and a slice of jess just like here there and everywhere but he's basically for food and travel which oopsie and on the other things of stuff that i can't show you is music in february me and dan went to see noah khan if you remember from 2023 i went to see dermot kennedy and Noah Khan was actually the support act for Dermot Kennedy. And it was so surreal to see him in his own show. And when we went there, he had Ben Howard as a supporting act and James Bay. Now, Dan loves James Bay. And when he said he was coming out, I saw the fedora and I'm like, Dan was ecstatic. And as he said, when he was then like, oh, Ben Howard's coming out, we was both like, what like you didn't expect that at all so we had a very very fun night off to see noah khan and that's pretty much all we've been listening to there is one song that has become out on tiktok and it's by alex warren and it's before you leave me the start of it is a bit slow about two minutes in it has like a 40 second mashup and it is it gives me like great showman vibes and we've been vibing to that lately and of course we have been having a multitude of different playlists because we actually do have a few concerts this year. So our next concert is not until May, but that is Teddy Swims. So Teddy Swims is obviously on the radar. Um, we are seeing the Foo Fighters as well in Ju July, no, June. That is me, Dan, Brogan and her fiance who oh my god that will be like the last few weeks he'll be with the fiance and then it'll be her husband oh my god and then in july we are off to just me and dan to see acdc managed to secure the goods for wembley and yeah we're off to that so a few eventful things coming up and a very me very merry very merry varied music selection guys and uh yeah i'm very very excited my phone case for this month because you know we always have a phone case i kind of thought because you know like valentine's and everything like that i went in with the love this again would have been off sheen couple of quid if that you know we absolutely love a little bit of sheen in this house now i've been trying to up my water and i'm not doing too bad guys i try and drink one of these a day and it's one of the ones can you see it gives you like the times of where you should be throughout the day i am i'd probably say going through three quarters of this it gets to seven and i kind of fall off like i've done all right today i'm at the 9 p.m and we're not at 9 p.m yet so i'm a little bit ahead but normally i get to seven and drop off but this has been my go-to i've tried a few other water bottles this month and i can't I can't get to grips with them. I think because this one, you lift it and it's already got 
the straw in it, it just makes it so much easier. I'm trying to come away from juice as well and I'm going more into like lemon juice or lime juice because my PT told me that the body absorbs water differently when it has say like a natural juice i.e a lemon juice as opposed to a squash so yeah I've been uh, living my life off of that along with that as well home bargains guys you know these oh she drinks these are great when I'm going to my PT or I'm going on a walk because they're 750 mil for 50p at home bargains and I think I, well, I say I think, I know I tell you in the home bargains. They're basically like a Powerade, Gatorade dupe. If, you, if you're if you a 90s baby, Powerades were like the thing growing up. This is basically a dupe of it and a fraction of the price and you get more in the bottle. And I only had one of these this month, but I feel it needs to be included in the monthly favourites. Um, you will see in the log cabin when we went to York, we went into like that magic shop which is very similar to what we have down here. Um, I think on one of the last few reset vlog days, um, we went into like Shaftesbury Avenue and we went into like the magic shops and I'd done a little pan over. But I picked up Spellbound, which is from the Potions Cauldron, Butterscotch Beer. And it actually does taste like butter beer, guys. I was very ecstatic when I found this in York and I was like, you know what? I've had a few before and they've been duds. So I saw this and I was like, I'll give it a go. I took a couple of swigs and I was like, oh, that's butter beer. That is butter beer and I love that. Dan took a few swigs. He's not a fan of butter beer. I can't wait to get back to Harry Potter world. That's something I think we're going to try and book up this year. Because there's butter beer, there's butter beer ice cream. Like, yes, I'm excited for that. And who doesn't love Harry Potter world? Like, we was going around and when we was in the shop, it was like, imagine that in the home if we get one. Imagine that, like... Me and Dan are very, like, arty people. And I think our thing will be we will have a lot of art in our home. I think that's going to be our vibe. But me, leave me with the butter beer scotch. Butter beer scotch, butter scotch beer, and I'm good to go. I would like to say there's half a pack there. There's not really even half a pack, guys. This has been my suite of choice this month. Good old-fashioned fizzy peach rings. And... We're just going to have to leave them there because if I start opening them and stacking on, I've got dinner cooking away. I'm not going to eat my dinner. Let's put it like that because they are addictive. They will normally not last the day. If I open them in the morning, they will be gone by the end of the day. So, oopsie. Now, I have been trying in terms of like self-care and bits and bobs like that. And this I've had for quite a while, but I've never really delved too much into it. It's from Good Old Home Bargains as well. It's the Dead Sea Collection. And now I have these in the bath salts and the foaming big bath wash. You know, it's like £2 for one and a half litre. It's ridiculous. And then the big salts, the scrub, everything like that. This is the coconut body oil. And when I tell you just a few little drops of this when I get out of the bath is leaving my skin so nourished. This is a new thing. I need to take more care in actually like the moisturization of my body. I think it's very easy. We focus on our skincare and our faces, but we need to look after the rest of our bodies too. And I believe this is about £1.50 for 120 mil. And I would definitely be looking into perhaps, you're going to think, Shan, you're not lavender, but they do that in lavender. And I think I might give it a go because I feel it could be very calming like before bed. So yes, very, very happy with that. It's a bit of like, skincare to look after yourself you know one of the biggest things in here and you would have seen it in the backdrop my body positivity vase i picked this up guys this year at our local tk max and i was just on a whim having a little walk around one night after work i saw it and i was like oh, i love it i absolutely love it you're coming home with me so yeah this has been in the backdrop for most of the videos that you would have seen and I just like it. I think, you know what, this is probably going to stay out till I change the decor for Easter again. So get used to the body positivity and the love hearts in the background because they'll be here probably till mid-March. And then it will be Easter and Gonks and all the good stuff that Danny's just not prepared for. <laughs> On to terms of, ah, hair clips. Hair clips have been my ride or die this month. If I'm not having it in a ponytail for filming, it will be this. Because I actually get quite a bad headache with my hair in a ponytail all the time, guys. So when I'm home and I'm not filming, it's always in a little clip and it's good to go. If not, a scrunchie. But I can't find any of my scrunchies at the moment because 
the room's a little bit of a mess behind you we're going to deal with it at the weekend okay but i finally finished it guys guys if you have been with me from the beginning you will know this moisturizer has been with me from the beginning and do you think i can buy it anymore no this is the clinique pep start hydro blur moisturizer now if anyone knows where the clinique have renewed this brought it out on a different name please let me know because i love this moisturizer and as i say i have fully hit pan on it now there's nothing left and it needs to go into the bin but it holds such sentiment how can a moisturizer hold sentiment but it does it just does and i'm like it's i've had a good run runnings runnings and innings with it i mean especially when you look at the back and it says it sh once open should only be used for 24 months I've been on the channel over three years so maybe we've gone a little bit past the sell by date but it never broke me out or anything and it was good as gold so very saddened to see that go I can't lie but I have been looking after my skin because as I say my skin's been having a little bit of a flare up and when I was ill it got so so dry so I've been going in with my cellar waters and toners I have completely used now my body shop seaweed oil balancing toner and then with that I'm halfway through my micellar water the lemon one vitamin c cleansing water can't go wrong as i say i'm trying to come away from the wipes so these with a little flannel are my best friend another few things that are my best friend is my toothpaste you know this guys perio guard this is my toothpaste of choice at the moment apart from my durafate which i think I think that's how you say it, Girafate. It's the one that's from my dentist. But this is the one that I religiously go to. I need to get another one of them. But it's pricey and I'm having a bit of trouble trying to get hold of it. So if you know where I can get it without having to fill in like questionnaires and everything like that. Because I can't seem to find it without having to have someone like prescribe it to me. Which is kind of annoying. So, hmm. And then when the teeth are done, my lipstick of choice has been Natural Born Leader. A lot of you have been asking me for my lipstick this month and it's either velvet teddy but velvet teddy i've not got a lot left of guys so i definitely do feel it is this natural born leader and i've been loving this you know i've been absolutely loving it what i have been loving is fragrances and there's been three that have kind of been like my go-to again pomegranate this is the home bargains dupe of joe malone i'm gonna say this was a fiver for 100 mil guys and this is my one that i literally just chuck in my bag for work it's so strong, it lasts, it's good to go. And you know what? For a fiver, you can't go wrong. I have also still been loving my Christmas one, the La Imperatrice by Dolce and Gorbana. This was what mum picked me up for Christmas, and as I say, spritzing away. Now, when we've been going out on like date nights and little events, I have actually been reaching for if you remember last year when I went to London, I treated myself to some very bougie perfumes. Do you think I've used them perfumes yet? No. So my mission for March is actually to get those out. But I've been using my little popper off and you dab it. It's like the old fashioned style. The Christian Louboutin Luby Raj. This is the one that I've been using this month. This was like kind of a little sample in amongst the gift set. But yeah, I need to get them out because I spent a lot of money on them last year for my birthday. And I'm like, they look lovely in their box, but I need to use them. So that is the... Um, that's the plan for this month but yeah this month next month march coming to use the proper ones but i've been using my mini for the month of february and the one candle that actually still remains here because my mango yankee candle that is burning away and my other one i don't know where it was but it was a sunflower sunset from tk maxx absolutely lovely again a tk maxx one dw home strawberry dream tea absolutely love this and you know me why did i buy this just because it looked like a drink like a sippy cup take the lid off you're good to go i am gutted actually that that's empty <laughs> i'm absolutely gutted on that but hey ho all good things must come to an end and looking at this guys i've been rabbiting way too long for you and you're probably thinking you know what shan things do need to come to an end darling we need this wrapped up because you've seen me a couple of times today no i don't know actually when this one will have gone up whether it'll be first or morning but you've got double uploads today and you had double uploads yesterday so you're probably very much sick of my face let's round it up so my lovelies february is gone bye bye february we gained another day from you but you're gone sweetheart march is fast approaching can you believe we're already in month three of 2024
what on earth is going on? What on earth is going on, guys? I don't want to rabbit rabbit anymore. I've took up more than enough of your time. I want you to go into March feeling very refreshed and not thinking, oh my goodness, I'm seeing her face again. I'm going to be seeing her face again. What's going on? Please stick around with me. 2024, I think, is going to be a very, very exciting year. But uh, yes, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your highlight from February? Any products you'd recommend? Anything you think Shan needs to try? And is anyone else a Noah Khan fan? I know I actually had a few of you saying, like, Shan, we was at the concert too. So high five to all our Noah Khan supporters as well. But yes, take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be the next month. <gasps> if not, you'll see one more video and then it'll be the next month. Bye, guys. Bye.